Oh, that would be glorious. Come on, cow! Cow fighting! Cow fighting! Gujilla fighting! Come on, man. Gujilla him. Gujilla him. Do it! Do it! Make DTs. Make DTs and you shall win. Flash is gonna go one racks double expand and not have detection. Make DTs. Make DTs. There is Flash. Flash is less than 50% in StarCraft 2. Look at that. He's 6 and 7. Lol. Lol, 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 lol. Gujilla. 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 See, I, now it makes it doubly awesome if Cal wins, because not only will KT not make the playoffs, but it's like, it's Flash lost in the ace match. It's gonna be like last season's finals all over again. Trollololololol. Alright, here we go. Here we go. The ace match of KT Rolster versus Air Force Ace. 10 bucks says the stream doesn't work. Uh, by the way, I have done, I'm using the standard definition stream right now. So we're going to be watching this in good old 480p or whatever the hell this is. Because I believe that is probably the most reliable stream. Probably. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure OGN is just deliberately trolling us. And so, Cal will be the red pros on the top left, Flash will be the blue Terran at the bottom right. We have a PVT on Ohana. And, uh... Oh yeah, people are people in chat are telling a story about how Flash actually saved Cal from drowning when they were, like, on vacation or something. That was actually quite fun. And Cal sending out a fairly early probe here. That's interesting. We saw the uh, we saw Chabby do that when he played against Flash on Antigua. I'm not sure why. Is this like some kind of anticipating a 14 CC and trying to do some uber harassment or something? Either way, I don't really see the point of this unless you're gonna like do a gas deal maybe or something. But oh, Flash is saving up money. Flash is saving up money. He looks like he's going for 14 CC. So what? What now is the plan? All right. So you see a 14 CC. What's your plan? The plan is not to block the command center. All right. That's a good plan. I like that plan. Good plan. All right. The secondary plan is to not kill the SCV and to run away from it. All right. Excellent plan, Cal. I like it. I like it. Good. What's step? What's step three? Stage three is not take gas. Actually, no. He can. He. It's not. It's not time to take gas yet. Or is it? I can't remember. <laughs> he is still chronoing crows. Is he just gonna make a nexus? Is he gonna make a nexus? Nexus two, nexus two. And there's a second barracks for Flash. Very standard. We've seen him do this a lot after his 14 CC. Do a one depot double barracks wall at the top of his ramp. And yes, indeed, we are gonna see a nexus. Okay, so Cal's, res Cal's response to the 14 CC is to go for one gate, uh, no gas, and then expand. It's not the standard, you know, one gate wave ap and then expand after your sovereign X core. Uh, and this is very interesting. Now, presumably, Fla uh, Cal rather has like thought about what to do against Flash if he 14 CCs. I mean, you know, if you e any time you play against KT Rolster, you should expect to see Flash, or you should at least plan for what happens if Flash comes out in the A smash. And of course, because from all the games we've seen from Flash, uh, you you should really be prepared for either 14 CC or like a one rack double expand. Like if I was gonna play against Flash, well, I would lose no matter what. But I would at least think about what I would do if he did either of those two builds. And the first Zealot actually is going to come out here and harass. Uh, he's actually sent the probe to go finish off the Marine while the Zealot comes here to start picking off units. Oh, is he going to get the bunker? He gets the depot up in time, sorry. I was like, is he going to get the bunker up in time? No, it's actually a depot. Speaking of which, by the way, did you guys see that awesome thread on Team Liquid where uh, it's called like underground activities in StarCraft 2? 
and it just shows you like what what everything looks like for, um, from like a side view so you can like see what the depot looks like underground when it's lowered and you can see what borrowed units look like when they're underground it's actually really awesome I should all go check it out anyway uh, we do see a third barracks now added on by flash as well as taking his first gas and yeah, now he's taking both his gases in his main. Looks like meanwhile Cal, obviously having gone for the fast expand himself, isn't going to put on too much more pressure after that initial uh, initial zealot. So we have Mr. SCB checking out the third, and I don't know why the observer just clicked the bunker thing. Somebody really needs to make a custom map where um, if you're an observer you can actually cause things to like be clicked so you can still like build stuff. So you can cause one of the players to just like randomly make, make buildings. It'll be quite fun just like troll the players. Pretend it's a real OBS map but actually you have control of their things. But like do it really uh, really discreetly. So while they're not paying attention, like while there's a big battle going on, you know, build like four engineering bays or something. And then they go back to the base they're like, wait, did I really do that? Did I make such a silly mistake? I think that'd be quite fun. Anyway, it looks like a SEB. Just checking things out. Cal, getting his robo up, getting his gateways up, Flash meanwhile getting all his tech, getting plus one attack, getting his factory, I mean everything is standard from these players so far uh, after those openings. And it looks like we have a Twilight Council as well as the Robo here, before the Robo is even finished. So it looks like presumably the Robo then is just going to be for observers, and he's just going for that, uh, going for the charge lots and the Archons and High Templars uh, into the mid game. He's not going to go for Colossus, I would imagine. It's interesting that he built them right next to each other though. Like if I was Cal, I would build one, like one of those buildings with my gateways and another one kind of hidden in a corner somewhere, so that if Flash scans that location, which is quite likely, like uh, turn players will often just scan between the main and the natural kind of around that area. Uh, he will see only one of the buildings. So like if he only sees the Robo and doesn't see the Twilight, he might assume that, or he might start preparing for Colossi. Uh, and similarly, if he only sees the Twilight and doesn't see a Robo, then well, actually that that doesn't that's not as important because then you just prepare for charge anyway and you'll be right but I don't know I would I would fit the twilight I guess with flash sense though there's really no point hiding anything because he just knows what's on the map so you could just hide it and he would know it was there anyway so I guess Cal's like you know what I'm not even gonna bother anyway the Templar archives though is already finished so that's that's quite uh, that's quite fast here and uh, adding on a few more gateways as well now, going up to six gateways. Of course, since he isn't going for any Colossi, he does want uh, those additional gateways um, to help mass up those charge lots and Templars. Could make a couple of Immortals from the Robo if he wants, but it looks like he's not going to do that. Just going to make some Alps. And it looks like we do have uh, Armor and Storm on the way here, being Chrono boosted out. Flash still on just the one uh, Engineering Bay, now getting... Uh, actually, not getting anything. He's getting stim and combat shields, but no upgrade. His plus one finished. Okay, now he's getting plus two. There we go. I think he just had to wait for his armory to finish a little bit. So going straight for the plus two attack. Meanwhile, the first couple of high templars out. And otherwise, it's been a relatively passive game so far here. Flash not starting to put on any pressure, but now that his first couple of medivacs are out, he is going to start pushing out here. And uh, Cal should be aware of this. He's got his reserve poking around here. I mean, this is we are approaching the 10 minute mark here, which is uh, roughly around the time when the first medivacs do get out, usually. Um, so Cal should be aware of the timing, should know that he has to kind of uh, be a little bit more defensive. Although, having said that, he has gone for a relatively quick warp prism here. Now, I hope that people have told Cal that Storm drops are not really that good in StarCraft 2, but unfortunately, it looks like he didn't get the memo. So he's going to go for a storm drop here. Now let's see how effective this is. In my experience, most storm drops in StarCraft 2 are just generally very lackluster. Uh, I mean, it's cool to see, but it just doesn't really get that many SCB kills um, to make it worth it. Uh, especially with this attack coming, I mean, this is a little bit risky. Uh, he did leave a good number of units at home. He's still got two high templars at home, so those two storms are going to be very, very crucial here uh, in the defense. And he, he did only bring one high templar away, and I think it's very good. If he brought two high templar and only left one at home, I think that would probably be a mistake. That'd be, you know, a little bit too dangerous. But uh, here we go, he's going in, and is Flash going to see it? Storm! Why are you not showing us a storm? Oh, that was actually a pretty good storm there. 15 worker kills! Alright, my bad. I was saying how storm drops suck, but actually, I was completely wrong because that storm was awesome. 
And, well, a lot of SCVs now actually warped into the main. Flash might be in a bit of trouble. He is pulling his main army back, but he's going to lose that tech lab that's doing upgrading something. I don't know what that was upgrading. They're not showing us the production tab, so I couldn't see. Uh, but he's actually, well, now the Zelts are going to get cleaned up. He's going to get a depot, and we might get a couple of extra SCV kills here from the Zelts. But man, that was good. Oh my god, Cal actually has also done a warp in at the third, so Flash has had to pull all of his SCVs from his third here, and this is so crazy because this is usually the time when Terran would, wants to be more aggressive, right? The 10 minute mark, when the first two medevacs come out, that's when the Terran usually is the one who's poking against the Protoss and forcing the Protoss to multitask and run around, but Cal's doing the exact opposite. It's completely the opposite. This is like Cal doing all, these, all this uh, multitask, and this is crazy. Alright, so... Uh, Cal, meanwhile, has taken his own third, breaking down those rocks. Not quite started mine yet. Um, Flash going to try and recover himself with a few mule drops. And people in the chat are going crazy, like, Stale, you need to watch Liquid Hero! He does storm drops all the time! And to that I say, you guys need to watch Jangby. He does real storms all the time. <laughs> anyway, um... So... Cal now actually, Cal's actually now started his uh, Robo Bay, so he is going to uh, go switch into, or not switch into, but rather start mixing in some Colossus, go for that super strong late game Protoss ball of uh, Charge Lots, Archons, uh, High Templar, and Colossus, I get everything, and make it super hard for the Terran to deal with. But of course, Flash is no ordinary Terran. Let us see what he can do. It's so crazy though. I don't think I don't think Flash has like done a single drop. He hasn't done like a single serious attack this whole game. Flash has been completely on the defensive, which is really not what you'd expect from from Flash or from any Terran really. I mean, Terran should really be the one kind of pressuring the Protoss, abusing their uh, their medevacs here. But look at this, another storm drop being loaded up by Cal. And oh man, there is a Viking though, ready to just intercept it. Look at that. Very very smart move by uh, by Flash to put that there and just intercept the War Prism. Although the War Prism, I mean, if Cal wants, he can just like, just charge in anyway and suicide in. I don't think the Viking will kill it in time, but whoa! Nice little split there from the initial storm, but he is going to have to pull back up to his ramp here. Uh, wasted the next couple of storms were not ideal, and it looks like the Medivac's actually going to spot those, uh, the War Prism going in, but Flash might have been paying too much attention to the front here. It doesn't look like he actually noticed the War Prism, and oh my god, this could be huge! The Viking's coming back here! He's going to pull the SEVs! Oh, what? Where the hell are you going? What the f <laughs> what just happened? Wait, where was he going? Why did you do that? Why did you run to the natural? Hi Templar, what did you do? Oh man, alright, that wasn't good, but uh, Cal is going to be able to crush through the army in the front though. So what? I mean, I don't even understand. He just like, he dropped it, I was like, yes, he's going to storm again, and then he just like walks to the natural. <laughs> And the thing is, the thing is, it's not even like he was paying attention to the fight, right? Like, if the High Templar just stood there and didn't do anything, I'd be like, okay, Cal was focused on the micro in this engagement. But he actually, he walked it towards the natural, so I was like, okay, he's actually microing this. Oh man, that storm actually hurt his zealots a lot more than it hurt the, the Terran army, but Cal is actually pushing this back here. He's got so many zealots here, and the Marauders trying to do a good job here, but obviously Marauders don't do the most damage against the zealots, and Cal is actually now pushing into Flash's natural here. Cal, is he going to try and break it? No, he's going to pull back a little bit. I think he might be overextending himself. He is going to pull most of his army back. He's going to send a few zealots in to the third base just to pick off a few more SCVs. Now he is doing the Colossus switch. And Flash, he's got a single Viking, but nothing else. It looks like these zealots will be cleaned up. They did get a couple of SCV kills, but I, I definitely think that was the right choice by Cal to pull most of his forces back there, um, not overcommit in that situation, because otherwise, you know, if, if he overextends, if Flash has a few good little micro splits and, and picks off all those expensive High Templar and the sentries there, that could be really, really bad for Cal. And Cal now with the first Colossus coming out, Flash is going to see that with a scan, he's got only a single Viking now, and really not much ground forces either, and oh man, this could be really bad for Flash, once again he's going to try and do some micro, the Protoss force is a little bit slowed up here, actually the Colossus could get sniped out here, the Colossus is going to get sniped because Cal's army is on the wrong side here, doing a bit of ring around the Rosies here, but no, the Colossus does somehow manage to be saved by Cal and Flash being pulled, being pushed back, once again he's actually left all of his medivacs at the front, he's not paying attention to his medivacs, the Archon going to kill a few of these medivacs here, but he's got to be careful because he's got no more uh, High Templar he's got. Looks like no more Colossi either, and actually looks like Cal is going to lose the rest of his army. No, a big warp in coming in, and oh, he traps! He traps the Marauders with some nice force fields, but it looks like a pickup by Flash is going to save uh, at least one, <laughs> just one Marauder, one lone Marauder will escape here, but look at this, Cal up to 11 gateways, 11 warp gates, looks like in his main base. Still has essentially been completely 
uh, unharassed in his uh, his economy is getting completely unharassed. There's been not a single medevac drop that I've seen this game. And Cal now taking the fourth base on the left side here. Very interesting choice here, not taking the right side base there. Instead of taking the left side, and that's probably a good idea because if you notice his army positioning, his army is actually attacking along this left side path. So he's kind of keeping expanding uh, the location that is closer to his army, whereas if he expanded on the right side, that'd be a lot more vulnerable to those drops. I think Flash also might have a floating factory or something over there that could spot that as well. But Flash will have no idea about the space on the left side. And here we go, moving in once again, the Archon, Charge Lock, Colossus Force. Again, there are no Vikings here against these two ranged Colossus. That's going to be so painful for Flash. Flash is getting pushed back into his natural here. What can he do? He's got a single Ghost out, but look at that. There's six Archons here as well as the High Templar and two Vikings. Flash is in huge trouble. A storm on the army. Flash could actually lose the ace match here. KT could be out of the playoffs right here, right now with this game. The KT fans, they are crying because Flash, he knows on his, you can see it on his face. Flash knows that he is dead. Flash dropped the ball. KT dropped the ball. They will not be going to the playoffs. Suddenly, everything has changed. GG! Cal takes out Flash in the ace match. Air Force Ace takes down KT Rollster. KT is out. They are gone. No playoff chance for you anymore. Oh my goodness. What the hell? Everybody, nobody was even thinking about this match. All those threads were just like, assume KT beats Ace, and then we'll see what happens with...